And here we are in the Tomb Valley and down to the bottom left hand corner of the map we have our red Zerg player. The reigning champion, 11-time reigning champion of Hyun Fight Club, it is TSL Hyun. And his opponent here in the upper right-hand corner, our purple Zerg player from Startail, the reigning GSL Code S champion, none other than the unconventional player, Startail Life. <laughs> Life, I like the use unconventional. You know, the, I was yeah. watching a couple of these guys' games a little bit ago, and Life, sure enough, starts off with a uh, 10-pull in a match that I... Uh, I just watched because it was actually on uh, Kedaria, another yeah. uh, IPL map. But here we are on a Tombed Valley. Cross positions, an excellent place to have a ZVZ map, of course. Uh, you, you really can lend yourselves a little bit towards macro play. I mean, of the ZVZ matches, it's it, while it can be exciting and volatile at times, you always get to see more into the, the strategic mind behind these players um, when they opt uh, or are forced into these later game strategies. And I'll say that Hyun... Um, is he likes to get into that late game. He's mm -hmm. a very, very greedy Zerg, uses Overlords to get himself information throughout the game so he can make it there. Yeah, and Hyun has a very cool play style as well. He's very mechanical in the sense that it's, I want to produce this, then I want to produce that, <laughs> then I'm going to produce yeah. that right afterwards. And it's and it's very orderly, it's very, uh, and he uses lots of aggression. I, I like to call him July 2.0 for a while because it wasn't just, you know, very early one, two base aggression. It was, let's grab a bunch of bases, then when the kill switch gets flipped, just mm -hmm. go at you. Then already we see uh, Startail Life going with one of his kind of patented builds. Starts with a 13 gas into a 12 pool. Uh, Going to prioritize out that early Zergling speed while he undoes a quick expansion. Yeah, 15 hatch, not too much of a surprise. And uh, I mean, you know, with Life's relatively quick spawning pool here, we uh, do see that he's already got himself up to 50 gas. Hyun, when is this point? Okay, so 15 pull actually out of Hyun, and that's not going to prove too much of a problem as long as he locks up his defense. Um, because, you know, you, Hyun, he, we actually, it was about a week ago, he played Nurchio, mm -hmm. and he opted for a really, really greedy 15 hatch, and I, I think it was actually a 17 pull that he followed it up with. So this is going to prove a lot better. Um, with the cross positions, it's a, it's a good long run distance for life, who does now have six Zerglings and speed inbound. No hatchery quite yet, and he's continuing to mine that gas. So this is actually going to be some serious aggression. So talking earlier about Hyun being okay, he's going to really need to be on top of his defense, actually, because life is very investing into this push. But if he is on top of his defense, and if he can hold this relatively cost efficiently, then he's going to be able to move into the mid game at a pretty good advantage. Um, oh, look at this, though. Oh, life, you crazy devil, you. He is actually going to opt for a very quick bailing mess. More Zerglings coming out. He is going to hit with super aggression right at the very beginning. And do we expect anything else from Startail life here at the beginning of a long best of? <laughs> Well, here's what we are seeing out of Hyun. We're seeing four Zerglings on the way right now, and uh, that means that he saw those Zerglings coming out across the map. They're right on the edge of that Overlord's vision, but didn't manage to sneak by. Now, Life is actually going to be sitting at the bottom of the ramp, going to wait for this Bailing Nest to complete, which, uh, you know, he's got an opportunity here to get a little bit of damage in. It looks like he believes that those Lings got by, because if he knows that those Lings were seen, well, why not go in and do a little bit of free damage if your opponent already knows you have the Lings? But now the Lings Perfect. get it spotted. Hyun going to uh, fall back here. And here come the Banelings. And Hyun, he's got a great read on this. He sees the Banelings coming in. He's going to be able to clean that up very, very easily, chasing away the other Zerglings uh, that were across the map. May have gotten a little bit too far out, though, and unfortunately he's going to lose some Zerglings here. He does, and one Baneling is still remaining, so a bit of uh, a mistake there from Hyun getting away from the Banelings a bit too quickly. Uh, it looks like in the end, though, he is going to be able to plug up this ramp, and the spine crawler is nearly complete. Oh, and he missed it by just a second. If he had killed the one Baneling, he would have been okay, but now Queen's doing a good job of holding off the ramp, but not enough energy for the transfuse. Spinecrawler going to finish, but not before the first queen does die. Will the second one die as well? It looks like it will. In fact, down to just one hit point. It finally gets picked up by the reinforcing Zerglings from life. Life continuing to pressure here. Hyun, though, only about 30 seconds away from completing speed, and his bailing nest is two or three seconds from being done. Yes, and as we can see, let's take a look at the overall worker count. Hyun still up. More importantly, he has the second base that's functioning now. He may not have any queens that are there, but two more are popping up, so taking a bit of a risk, but the spine crawler has already been worth its weight in gold, picking off one of the bailings. Oh, finishes off the Banelink. Very nice there out of Hyun. Life now going to run into the main, but speed finishes up for Hyun's links. A little bit of miscontrol there for a second. Will cost him a drone or two, but ultimately Hyun going to be able to push this out of his base, get two queens out here in just a second, and he will hold Kevin. Yeah, very nice split second uh, decision making as well to tear off after a couple of links that were making their way out. Hyun going to morph into a bunch of Banelinks. He doesn't want to deal with any of these shenanigans ever again. Mm. And now we talked about if he's able to hold this off cost efficiently, he's going to be in a 
pretty good spot in the mid game. And take a look at it. The the base from life is only just now coming up. This entire time, Hyun is going to be injecting on two hatcheries with multiple queens, and uh, will have the opportunity to start powering ahead through the mid game. He needs to not take damage though from this big follow up from life. Yeah, this is a little surprising, but you know, life not knowing that the uh, ba that the banelings were going to be on the way made this extra round of zerglings. Now he's got to make something happen with them, and it's not really gonna work. Gonna try to get in the middle. Ooh, three drones mining on the left hand side. Not the best position to have those in, but only gets knocked down to five hit points. Life really committing to trying to clean up something here, but ultimately it's just going to be met with some heavy losses and doesn't take out all that many units. Does kill off one single drone. All right, so through all of that, he's only killed two. Two drones the entire yeah. time. Hyun making a big round of seven at the moment. He's already up by nine workers. He's already feeling pretty good with the amount of units he has on the map, and his opponent still hasn't been able to utilize this hatchery or any of the production from it. This puts life in a difficult position, not just in this game, but in the series if he doesn't take this game because he opened up with this extremely aggressive build. And life is really the favored ZBZ player here. Even if he's not the you know favored overall, uh, if we're looking at Hyun's uh, lifetime statistics here throughout Fight Club, guys, um, life should have been coming in feeling pretty confident. And now after this first game, I mean, he already used his cheesy play, if you will, yeah. to open things up. Yeah, but I mean, uh, this isn't the last time. I think we're going to see something like this from life. Uh, Hyun now is in a pretty good spot. Looks like he may even be able oh. to kill a queen or two. A lot of bailings going down, I think, two from each side there. So pretty equitable trade for both our players. A queen does fall, however. That puts life down to just one queen, while Hyun continues to just sit back and macro to his heart's content. Life is, uh, well, moved out across the field to try to force some lings out of Hyun and... Uh, well, may or may not have uh, extractors are going to be going down on the natural expansion for Hyun. Maybe we're going to see those infestors that we know he likes so much. He's not the biggest mutalisk player, but occasionally does use them from time to time. As you said, he kind of picks a tech route and just dives in with it. And what better are you, can you dive in with than Roach Infestor? You know, yeah. mutas, you only get to make so many, but oh, he just gets to spam that R button when he goes for Roaches. <laughs> You're right, though, about the mutalisk play. I mean, um, it is becoming a little bit more popular with Zerg players in general. It's been, you know, pretty predominant, but uh, especially with life. Life loves his mutalisks yeah. on the flip side of things. But uh, Hyun, more often than not, is more likely to just kind of, uh, once again, hit the kill switch with a large number of roaches and three or four infestors uh, thrown into the mix. We already see plus one weapons for range units coming out of both these players, so probably an indication that we're going to see infestors on both sides. And Hyun, just a slight bit ahead overall in that supply, but if we take a look at the economy of both players, I mean, 43 harvesters to 42. Yeah, he's up on the supply, actually, by a fair margin now, but, uh, you know, that's just, we just saw a round of units made for him, and that's really the only reason. Bamling connects pretty small here, but one Bamling still leading the charge for Hyun. Maybe it's going to... Ooh, gets picked off by the Queen, actually. Yeah. Actually picked off a Creep available. Tumor because of the splash damage. It was actually blown up next to a Creep Tumor. Oh, wow. That is actually going to recede for a second, it appears. But, uh, all right, looks like uh, the rest of the threat is cleared up. Hyun's going for a third base. He already has his uh, Roach upgrades pretty well on the way. Roach speed, you can see, not being researched for life, but is on the way now for Hyun. But a couple of differences. Roachhorn only just now started for life, but his uh, infestation pit is very nearly complete. Yeah, uh, going for the infestors first is often a play if you're afraid of mutalisks. You know, you want to make sure you have some uh, mobile anti-air force so you can secure that third without having to position overlords over it, drop creep, build spore crawlers, big pain. And uh, using queens would be even more difficult now that his bases aren't being connected so much by creep because that's receding. But uh, overall, I mean... Life, you know, he's going to be a little bit lacking on the roaches, so we see the spine crawlers going down for him because he realized, okay, mutas should be hitting right now. They're not, so you've got roaches. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's going to need to really get up some semblance of a defense. Hyun, it looks like he's going to push, and that's actually a little bit unexpected, but it's definitely going to prove to work fairly well as long as he doesn't get countered by these links too hard uh, because, you know, life, he is roach worn just now finished. And Life is someone who's pretty good about when armies are moving across the map, making sure he backstabs with Zerglings at just the right time yeah. so he keeps his opponent pinned in. That's exactly what's going to happen here. Uh, we'll see if Hyun, Hyun actually bringing everything back, and this is buying Life the time he needs to get a lot of units in position. Um, Hyun still at a very nice advantage in this game, do not get me wrong, but Life doing pretty much everything he needs to in order to pin his opponent in. Yeah, I mean, uh, a simple group of six, seven Roaches would have sufficed. In fact, when he was heading out, he actually had a lot of roaches that were about to spawn. And so just simply A-clicking your entire control group worth of roaches and roach eggs would cause all those lings to be caught up by the roaches. But that's not what we saw. Now, he is still going to arrive with an overwhelming quantity of roaches. 117 supply to just 90 right now, guys. So life is going to lose this third. And that's going to put Hyun in a dominating position as his third is not only completed, it is pretty much saturated, folks. But these roaches will get caught by a fungal growth. 
overall going mm -hmm. to escape, however. Yeah, that's a really bad spot for Hyun Engage, and so he smartly moves away. I mean, right there, that's almost exactly how wide a fungal growth is. So, I mean, they'd pretty much be able to pin down units there indefinitely and kill off a large number of roaches. But Hyun knows he has the advantage now. He's always sitting back. He's just continuing to produce drones. He's on three bases. It's a tired cliche, but, uh, you know, Hyun really is playing the getting more ahead approach here, and it's working out well for him. He actually did force a cancel. That was actually the hatchery that was researching Burrow, apparently. Oh, wow. That's quite convenient. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, life needs to, let's talk about what life needs to do to get himself back in this game. I mean, mm -hmm. certainly not uh, down and out of it yet, but he certainly is feeling a little bit dizzy. Yes. So, if I were life, you know, go grab a fourth base. Uh, you need to do something unconventional. If you're not going to grab a fourth base, go for a big all-in play. You can't, from this point, play standard. Uh, if you no. try to play standard, you are completely and utterly relying on your opponent to make a major error. And that's never a situation you want to be in as a professional player. You know, uh, you don't want the burden to lay on your opponent making uh, a very simple mistake. Uh, in fact, you kind of want to put them in an environment where they are least familiar. And playing standard is the environment in which players are most familiar, therefore less likely to make mistakes. So, uh, life, it looks like he is going to go for that quick fourth. Going to reciprocate uh, is Hyun, also grabbing his fourth and both extractors. I like that he was kind of overmaking infestors there. I, I think, I mean, that that's one thing that he needs to keep him in here. He doesn't have that many roaches on the field. And his upgrades are just slightly behind his opponent. Hyun deciding, though, that he wants to add a bit more DPS into his army, researching uh, the groove spines for his hydralisks. And with 10 hydralisks on the way now, we'll have quite the powerful push making its way out on the map. Now, something that we did see in the uh, Hyun versus Nurture series, Hyun using those Hydras, not necessarily buffering them with the Roaches. If you guys aren't, uh, you know, if you're new to this Zerg race, you're not a big fan of using Hydras always, but it's something you've been looking to incorporate. Put your Hydras behind your Roaches. If you're trying to kill a Zerg, just capture their Hydras out of position. Easiest yep. unit to kill in the world besides maybe a drone. Yeah, we mentioned and, uh, that uh, it. Yeah, Hydras are very high DPS, and they have greater range than Roaches, but they're very squishy. They're very squishy units, and uh, if you have the Hydras up at the front, then they will get taken out very, very quickly. So you can see how quickly even that uh, one Hydra goes down, even when other units are actually taking yep. and tearing away at those Zerglings. Nice little burrow there. I don't think there's an Overseer around, so uh, those... Oh, nope, there it is. <laughs> Flew in from the top, and he unstabilizes. All right, well, life at this point, guys, 160 supply. Uh, Hyun's maxed out, so he's going to push out across the map. Now, if Life can get himself into a really good position, you know, with uh, Concave and everything, he can deal with this army potentially. It's going to be pretty tough for him, though. I mean, Hyun is already, uh, well, actually, he does not have the plus one care pace finished up. No, he does not. So let's actually take a look at what his opponent has. He doesn't either, so they're relatively even on upgrades actually moving through this here. So uh, Hyun just going to charge right through the front, drops out a lot of infested Terrans, and he is actually going to be able to ward away the ones that his opponent is dropping down to begin with. So almost all the energy is taken away on these infestors. There's just one fungal growth to go around. That's actually used, but it's not going to be enough. GG is called. Startail life goes down, and Hyun, well... Unsurprisingly, taking another game here at Vi Club. Yeah, you know, you wanted to look for a way out for life in that last situation, but the reality is just too many units, Kevin, mm -hmm. uh, for Hyun, and it really didn't matter. So in that situation, you know, life getting a little bit behind early on, uh, ultimately couldn't struggle his way to a comeback, although he did try with some nice Zergling run by Definitely want to commend him on that, because those roaches that uh, Hyun was pushing out would have been the end of the game right there. So life bought himself some extra time, unfortunately was able to convert that time into victory. We'll see if he can uh, struggle one out in game two, however, as we know that life, you know, Definitely a reigning champion. Uh, has the potential to take down Hyun, 11-time consecutive IBL Fight Club winner. That's right, and uh, what a great defense at the beginning of that last game as well. So uh, yeah. we've got people tuning in now, of course, but uh, we want more. So you need to call up your mom, let her know that Hyun is taking on the GSL Code as champion life right now. I'm sure she'll be thrilled, and she'll want to tune in. So spread the, spread the word to all of your friends. Um, and also, we're curious to know, apparently MVP Finale reached out to us today and said that he wanted to participate in Fight Club, so that's awesome. But we want to see who you guys would like to see in yep. Fight Club as well, someone maybe who hasn't popped up yet. We're getting close to that one-year mark where we're going to reset and allow people who have competed before to jump back in. But uh, until then, who would you like to see competing against uh, the next couple of opponents here? Uh, at IPL Fight Club. You can reach out to us on Twitter. I am at Kevin Naki. He is at Kibbles. And we'll read some of the responses over the air. For now, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we get back, we'll jump into game number two.